well, seemingly more missed opportunities and red flags as to whether or not this man should have ever purchased or been able to purchase a gun, killing 26 people behind me. These new revelations raising new questions as to why the Air Force did not report to the FBI to the National Background Check Database, not only his violent background, but also his mental health. After we now know he was involuntarily committed to a mental health facility back in 2012. Now, according to an El Paso police report, we know the gunman escaped from the mental health facility in New Mexico in June 2012 while he was under pretrial confinement for a court martial accused and later convicted of beating his wife and child. Now, the gunman was considered, quote, a danger to himself and to others when the police caught him after the escape at a local bus terminal. We do not yet know why he was specifically put in there in the first place. We also know that the gunman was caught trying to bring guns onto the Air Force base and he made death threats against his military superiors. All of this, as investigators say, they are trying to get into this into the gunman's phone. At this point in time, we are unable to get into that phone. So it actually highlights an, an issue that you've all heard about before with the advance of the technology and the phones and the encryptions. Now, all of this, as the, uh, as the sheriff of his local town just outside of San Antonio says, they are investigating whether or not they mishandled a 2013 sexual assault investigation in which this gunman was the rape suspect. After three months, the investigation stopped. They seemingly believed because he moved to Colorado. Sandra. Some disturbing details coming to light. Brian, uh, what will Vice President Pence, uh, what are his plans while he visits there in Texas today? Well, we expect him to get here this afternoon. He will go to the Brook Army Medical Center to visit the seven victims who are still there. We know he'll get a briefing from local law enforcement. He'll be accompanied by Texas Governor uh, Greg Abbott. And we also know that he will speak tonight at 5 p.m. at a local vigil at a high school. Listen to what the vice president said last night at Fo on, the, on the show Fox News at night about the power of prayer. And I believe in prayer. And I know that at this moment of such heartbreak and loss in that community, that, that what most Americans are most able to do is to pray for those families. Authorities will release the names of those victims today.